Let's do this. Growth stocks are definitely one of the funnest types of stocks to own because they have the most potential to go to the moon. And so today I'm gonna to share with you guys the five ETFs that I've researched heavily that have high growth potential, they're on sale, and they're super low fees. Let's get right to it. What's up you guys, my name is Nolan or Professor G as most of you guys know me. I'm a university professor and I specialize in personal finance and I made this channel so that you can have the research to finding the best investments to set you up for success. First up on the list is the Vanguard Mega Cap Growth ETF MGK. MGK is very high in technology with over 50% of its holdings in that sector. These are the top 10 holdings and this makes up 60% of this entire ETF. To me, these are the top 10 that you want anyway. So I like that there's so much percentage in this ETF. This ETF has done extremely well over the last three years and has returned over 25% every year. Today, this ETF is at $178.17 and it's down about 32.5% for the year to date. It has an expense ratio of 0.07. So this one, just like the rest of them, are beaten down badly. It's down over 30%, which means that it's definitely on sale. And so you're getting all of these growth companies at a discounted price with a lower risk because of the diversified nature of an ETF. And then with an expense ratio of 0.07, this just hits all the marks. Number two is SPY-G, which is the Spider Portfolio S&P 500 Growth ETF. Now I'm sure all of you have heard about the S&P 500 and so what this fund does is it takes the specific companies within the S&P 500 that are all the highest growth type companies and it just tracks those. So if you're an S&P 500 lover and you just want something that's gonna be highly growth alone, this might be a good one for you. This one has an even lower expense ratio at 0.04. Today, this one is trading at $51.24 and it's down almost 30% for the year. The holdings on this one is obviously companies that we'd love to see and it's definitely on my long-term hold list. The third ETF on my list is the Vanguard Growth ETF, VUG. The Vanguard Growth ETF is the leader among large cap growth options with a massive $74 billion under management. This one is biased towards blue chip technology stocks with top holdings including Apple and Microsoft and technology representing about 50% of the total assets. The median market cap of all holdings is about $350 billion because VUG only includes the biggest growth names out there. This one is super exciting and in my opinion, probably one of the safest purely growth ETFs out there. And along with picking safe companies to invest in, it also is a super safe fund because of its expense ratio at 0.04, which is incredibly cheap. Today, this one is at $218.42 which is down 32.5% year to date, pretty similar to all the rest of them up until this point. And so again, this one hits all of the main things that I'm looking for in a solid growth ETF. The next one and fourth on my list is an interesting one that not a lot of people know about. This one is the Vanguard Small Cap Growth ETF. VBK. Now the one that I just talked about is all large cap. It's all the big companies that you know about, Apple and Microsoft and that type. This one is small cap, which means that they're smaller companies. And so while they may be a little bit riskier, they're also the companies that definitely have the highest amount of reward. You're not gonna see a company like Apple double or triple or quadruple in a year or two, but you may see a smaller company eat up some market share and 10X within a year or two. So this growth index holds those companies. This ETF has exposure to about 750 of those smaller companies, which means that it spreads out that risk because of course some of them are gonna fail, but some of them could definitely crush it and make it to the moon. Some of them could be the new Facebook or Tesla. This one has a low expense as well at 0.07. And today VBK is trading at $193.95 and is down about 31.5% year to date. I really like this growth ETF personally because I invest pretty heavily in the S&P 500 and in large cap stocks. 
And so if there's something that I'm going to add to my portfolio, I want it to be different than what I already have exposure to. And this one definitely hits all those marks for me. Another one that's a little bit different than what I normally invest in and what you guys probably hear about is number five. And that one is the BlackRock US Carbon Transition Readiness ETF. LCTU. Nowadays, there's a bunch of mega trends, and one of them is making sure that we have a low carbon emission and making sure that we take care of the environment. And along with that are a bunch of initiatives and government spending that's throwing a bunch of money at companies that can show that they're bringing down the carbon footprint. So if government spending is going to specific companies, that means those specific companies can grow super fast. And that means that if you invest in those type of companies, your investment should grow as well. This one has a little bit higher of an expense ratio at 0.14%, which is still so low compared to a bunch of them out there. And so that's why it made it onto my list. Today, LCTU is trading at $41.34, which is down 24% or so on the year. So this is a good time to look at it because it definitely is on sale like all the rest of them. I like this one a lot too, because it also has a 1.3% dividend yield, which isn't a lot, but those of you that are dividend type investors might actually like that perk as well. People are a little bit more worried about the environment and doing good for the world than they are in just profit alone. And so companies that show that as well are going to be the companies that take us to that next level. So this may be an ETF to add to some of the other ones that you have as different foundational elements in your portfolio. So now all these ETFs are on sale. Right now the market is beaten down badly, but it's going to go back up at some point. So you want to pick the ones that are going to work best in your portfolio and best for your investing thesis. So I encourage you to look a little bit more deeply into these that I've started the research off for you. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please throw them down in the comment section below. I'd love to help out and go further to help you out on this investing journey. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.